Welcome to Lakewood, Colorado, the Toyota Trucks Thunder Valley National. Round five of the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. Paul Lindsay, Jason Wagant here with your 250 post-show coverage. Well, Christophe Porcel has established himself as the points leader in this series, but coming into Colorado, he had been leaving the window open for other riders to grab overalls. He wanted to go one way today, but it's tough in this class. Yeah, and uh, as you'll see, Trey Kennard jumped up there as we expected here at the altitude. And the weather, not so much of a factor as we thought it might be, but uh, at the end of the day, same old players up front. Yeah, and that means it's good racing because these kids are all fast. Let's get to the highlights of the 250 class. Motor number one of the 250s. Bad news for the rest of the field. Christophe Orsell doesn't get many hole shots, but he got it this time. Yeah, and unfortunately a big pileup involving Weimer, Barsha, and some privateers on the ground on the second turn. Yeah, not so good for Weimer. He's looking to use this race to turn his season around. Instead, it was his very fast rookie teammate, Dean Wilson, up there challenging Porcel early. I mean, really challenging. Yeah, and perfect weather. Everybody thought it was supposed to be hot today, but beautiful weather, and Wilson was giving Porcel all he could handle, sticking wheels under him in every corner for three or four laps. Also, Trey Kennard needed a good ride to rebound today, and he had it. He was close behind the leaders in third, so a good ride for him. Yeah, Kennard, we, we expected him yesterday. We were talking about that, and he got back up there on that Honda 250, that EFI, see if it came into play, but obviously the weather wasn't as big of a factor as we thought, but Kennard was definitely on it. Wilson all over Porcel, and then a couple laps in, Porcel, they were side by side. He actually waved at Wilson and said, that was fun, but I got to go, and he checked out. Yeah, and then we saw the real Porcel, I guess, as you said. I think Porcel might have just been sort of gauging himself and then uh, just had his way with him and was just gone. Kennard did his best to keep Wilson honest, but Wilson holds on for second in the moto. Uh, Kennard holds on for third. And behind it, a couple more consistent runs from guys who have been consistent all year, like Tyler Rattray. Yeah, Tyler Rattray with a decent start, got up there and uh, eventually finished fourth in the moto. And obviously, uh, Wharton and Tickle having a great battle back there, too. Martin Navalos, good to see him back up there in the battle. Faded a little bit at the end. And that's your first moto of the 250s. Purcell, five first, or four first moto wins in five rounds. Almost a perfect season so far. All right, moto number two, Porcel, like we said, has been almost perfect in the first motos this year. The second motos have been tough on the guy, and then a tough start here in moto two. He says he uh, messed up his shift, and it's Trey Kennard powering into the first turn. Yeah, followed by his teammate, Wharton, who looked like he meant business in this moto, and uh, Wilson and Trey right there in third and fourth. And this was the opportunity that Kennard needed. Not only did he have the lead, but he had his teammate Wharton to run some defense, and man, did Wharton fight those Kawasaki's. Yeah, Wharton was fighting hard. Every time somebody passed him, he'd pass him right back and look like he wanted to stay up there and get in the mix for the overall. Meanwhile, Kennard's starting to stretch it out out front. So first, the battle was between Wharton and Wilson. Wilson thinking if he get to second, that could be good enough for the overall. They went at it, but then, Christophe Porcel, which is uh, a rare sign of aggression from him, started to step it up. He goes around Rattray, he goes after Wilson, then he goes after Wharton. He was pushing a lot harder than you normally see. Yeah, I think he, he meant business. Like you said, I think uh, with a 1-3 and a 3-1, it was going to give Rattray the overall, and Rattray, or excuse me, going to give Kennard the overall. And Kennard looked like he meant business out front and led more than half the way. So uh, Purcell had his work cut out for him to catch up to those guys. So he finally gets around Wilson and Wharton to go into second and starts tracking down Kennard. But give Kennard credit. Once Purcell caught him, Kennard was able to hold him back for a couple more laps. He fought him for it. Yeah, and, and Kennard, like you said, he was riding a lot better like we predicted yesterday in this moto. And for a while, it looked like he was at least going to maybe at least win the moto. It was five laps to go when Purcell finally made the pass and made it stick. And what a pass it was. Purcell actually went all the way outside of the racetrack to find some running room. They cut back to the inside, makes the move on Kennard, and then immediately started pulling away. And finally, Christophe Porcel does the double and wins both motos with some authority. Yeah, a little bit of parity in this moto. Rarely in this class so deep do we see the scores. The moto scores 1-1, 3-2, 2-3, 4-4, 6-5, 5-6, 8-8, 7-9, 8-8, 9 8 is the same guys running the same positions every moto. Absolutely. Kennard's going to edge Wilson for second overall. And with a 4-4, Tyler Rattray is going to take fourth. Fifth is going to go to Blake Wharton with 6-5 scores on the day. Hey, Brett, we're going to have a meeting in an hour. Are you going to be able to make it, or you got a lot to yeah, do? Yeah, no problem. Good. I can make that, yeah. What, was that your high point trophy? Oh, yeah, that's the first 450 podium right there. Yeah. Man, I can't imagine. It's got to feel good to be up on a podium with this thing. Yeah. All right. Man, that is pretty cool. Pretty good feeling, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Thanks, congrats.
Yeah, it's pretty funny because at the beginning of the series, not many people knew me. They would, when we have autographs signing, they would skip my poster and get Purcell's. But now they actually want my autograph and stuff, so it's pretty cool. And uh, you know, it's it's kind of weird because it's always like a dream, like signing autographs and doing all that stuff. And you know, now I'm doing it. It's really awesome. You know, I wasn't. A, I only raced here once, and I never have ridden it in the daytime until now. And um, you know, I, I thought that the track was a little sketchy with with the lighting, but I thought it was a cool venue. You know, I thought it was something that that was a little different in the nationals, and I thought it was you know something that was kind of different and, and exciting. But I really enjoyed the track today. I thought the track was awesome. I mean, it was it was rough and it was rutted, and the soil was awesome. So. Um, yeah, I'll take it either way. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, kind of really surprised about everybody else because uh, you never know who is going to be out there. And uh, you know, this weekend it was uh, it was Trey, and uh, he ran really good. And uh, you know, maybe next weekend it's going to be Borsha again or someone else. And uh, it's kind of kind of crazy. So you never know, and uh, you just want to get a good start. But you know, you just try your best. All right, Porcel finally does the deal. He wins both motos. Let's talk about some of the other guys in the parody in this class. Yeah, unbelievable. You know, this this one we thought would be like a crazy mixed up moto, but you right. got a one one, a two two, a three four, a four three, a five five, a six six. Just crazy parody in the class. We we didn't expect that this weekend. Yeah, and uh, this week the Geico Power Sports Honda rider who was the man to beat was Kennard. Barsha had an off one. Tomac had an off one. That team's going to get one one of these days. Yeah, Kennard looked like he was going to get it done today. Looked like he could maybe go 3-1 for the overall, but at the end of the day, Porcel just really grabbed this championship by the horns half, almost halfway through now. That's right, and halfway point will be official next week at Redbud in Buchanan, Michigan. So be sure to check out that, and also don't forget our coverage uh, Sunday afternoon of our 250 class on speed. Go to AllySports.com for more on the series and the TV schedule. He's Paul Lindsay. I'm Jason Wigand. Thanks for watching.